A fuser is a device which generates electricity via an electrochemical reaction. And this is being done out of hydrogen and oxygen which we're taking from the air. This one is done on a direct way and not via a combustion beforehand. And this brings an advantage and this one is efficiency. Apart from the efficiency, there's another advantage coming from the fuser technology and it is that it can be done almost emission free, meaning no uh, CO2, no NOx and even low or almost no contrades in the end. The biggest challenge is to get enough power to power an aircraft out of this technology and this as an acceptable weight level. We achieve the required power level by stacking the, the fuel cells inside a fuel cell stack, which means we are putting multi hundreds of fuel cells inside one stack. Then we have a fuel cell stack, but it's alone uh, is not enough. We then combine the fuel cell sticks in several channels and hence coming to the 400, 500, 600 kilowatt uh, level. However, it's even not enough to power an aircraft and hence we have multiple channels inside one aircraft in order to ensure enough power to operate it finally. We actually checked the fuel cell market and we realized by doing this that the current uh, fuel sets which are available are not fulfilling our stringent aeronautic requirements with regards to performance. In 2020, we actually founded together with a Ringklinger a joint venture, which we call Aerostack. And this joint venture has the task and the purpose to develop a forefront fuel cell uh, technology and hence a fuel cell stack for the aviation industry. The manufactured fuel cell stacks our partner, uh, the joint venture and Erin Klinger, are delivered here to Airbus Hamburg. And here in Hamburg, we made out of the fuel stacks the fuel system. And this is by doing the design, the assembly, and in the end, the testing. We needed to start really at the scratch in order to understand how this technology works. We are doing it at a really impressive speed. Actually, the first fuel systems under test are intentionally designed with many, many sensors inside and having the equipment really segregated from each other. This allows us a good accessibility on the one hand and on the other hand allows us to really understand and to read the detailed behavior of the systems. Both of them will help us in learning how to operate the system in the best way. Once we have installed the fuel cell stacks and the balance of plant components, it's time to test them. So we put the system in the test rig chamber. We connect the electrical and fluid interfaces. That's air, hydrogen and coolant. We close the test bench doors and we are ready to start the test. We monitor the operating conditions, the byproducts of the chemical reaction, and of course, the total power output. Actually, it's an iterative process and it's not always going as we wish and as we intended to go. So we definitely have um, encountered several issues and challenges, which is very good because we have seen them. And we have not stopped um, looking at them, but we have really overcome them. It's really amazing to be working in this project. We are confident, it's super exciting. We're changing the world here and we learn every day. So once we have tested and everything is ready, we put it in a box and it's sent to the next destination.